So I thought I'd make a video to show how to do fractions using Desmos. So you have two choices of how to put the fraction in. One is to use the keyboard on your computer and the other is to use the keypad that's in Desmos. So I'm going to show you the keypad because that will show up the best for me. So I'm going to open up the keypad so we can see it. And let's say I enter like 7 fourths. So I'm going to hit 7 and then I hit divide by and I do 4 and see how it makes it immediately into a fraction. If I want to add to it. I have to use the arrow over to get out of the denominator and to start a new fraction. So let's say I add to that, like, um, let's do 3 over 7. Immediately, it goes ahead and puts up an answer. What I want to do is go over to the left, so it's in blue, and there's this kind of box over box. So that tells Desmos that I would like the answer to be as a fraction instead of as a decimal. So I'm going to click it. And then I can see it converted it over to a fraction. If I want to go back, I just click again. So I can click back and forth between decimal and fraction. Let's enter something else. So let's say I do um, 8 divided by 3. And then let's click over. This time let's multiply. So let's say times, um, let's do 4 divided by 9. So notice each time I'm hitting this divide sign and that division tells it to put in a fraction. Going back, I hit the box over box again, and that converts it back to a fraction. So I have 32 over 27. So you can see addition, I did two fractions. Multiplication, I did two fractions. Division looks a little different because watch if I do 7 divided by 8, and then let's click over, and I'm going to hit divide, it bounces underneath. So it doesn't give me that kind of horizontal look that we're used to seeing. So here, 7 over 8, that is the numerator. It knows that I have this fraction at the top, and now I want to put a fraction in the bottom. What I think you should really do is put a parenthesis, and then put the fraction you want to do. So let's say I want to do 5 divided by 2. That way I can see it makes a fraction. I'm going to close the parenthesis. You really don't have to. I can see my answer is a decimal. I'm going to click that box, and it turns it back into a fraction. So hopefully this shows you it's pretty easy to put in fractions. Just remember to use the divide key. That's going to be your make it fraction. Use your arrow key over to get out of the denominator before you tell it the second operation you want to do. And then after you've put in both things, then you're going to hit the fraction over fraction. The box over box maybe is what you want to call it. And that's going to turn it back into a fraction so that you can see your answer in the right format.